We're ready? We Gucci? What up, randomies? This is your boy, Gizmo GX, and welcome to the stream. Another one. Another one. Oh my god, I thought my... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought... <laughs> I thought my headphone broke for a second. I was like, no, not today, not another one. Anyways, welcome to the stream. And if you're on YouTube, welcome to another episode of the Scarlet Nexus series. And today we're going to continue off where we left off on the last episode. And let me just say, for those who were there for the last stream, I kind of ended off in a weird note because my internet went off, long story short. And now I did an ending segment that was a YouTube exclusive. So, yeah. That, that was it. Long story short. So let's go ahead and continue on where we left off. And uh, before I do that, let me just use your... Yeah, there you go. Alrighty. So let's go and move in. Uh, oh, God. No. Wait. There you go. I was like, what happened? Anywho. So we're still going to go on and be badasses in this game. Wait, wait where's Sugumi? Oh, Sugumi Beaver Girl is over here. All right, let's go. Let's move on. Oh, I'm in the wrong route. Nope, not this route. We were just here. Uh, where we are, where we are, where we are. We go over here. All right, all right. Wait, there's a resource reading near here. What do you want to do? What resource are you talking about? Is it over here? Is it this one? Uh, you know what? It's probably this one. Oh, it's over here. Oh, wait, it's this one. No, 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 no. This one, this one, this one, this one. All right, I remember this. We had to read the message of the memorandums. Uh, I think in the last episode we co we covered the first five, which I'm assuming this is Yuito. What we're reading about. H number thirteen's correction is complete, but progress is not good. It would be difficult to discharge a subject like this. Now the subject has moved to a floor with secure rooms, but they are spending all day writing on the walls. Attempts at conversation has been unsuccessful, though. If there are no signs of improvement, disposal may be necessary. I wonder if the person in charge of a correction did it properly, but regardless, I don't want to be bothered with this any further. So I believe a aisle 7 is us, and H13 is someone else. I don't know who it would be, though, to, to be completely honest. There we go. There's a... All normalization tablet. Let's see. Do I have all jellies or something? No, I don't. I only have light jellies. Oh, man. That sucks. Oh, another one. Oh, that's nine. All right. We need to go and look up for some more. I love doing that. All right. Another one. That should be eight. So, Arian. No, oh, no, no. Wait, not that button. There you go. So, we're at... Six, so we're missing seven, so we gotta look for seven. Oh, wait. Wait. Ha ha! Number seven right there. Think you could get away from me, huh? You think you could get away from No, 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 sir. No, 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 sir. I found you. I found you. Alrighty. Dope. Alright, let's go ahead and read these little snippets. No wrong, wrong button. Let's go read the. No, no, not that one. I, I said, okay, I, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, there you go, finally. All right, so we were at number six. Um, I don't want to be bothered with this any further. Uh, do, 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 do. The subject has been moved to a floor with secure runes, but they are spending all day writing on the wall. The temp said conversation has been unsuccessful. That really does give me a flashback to the Flash, with um, I think it's like season three of the CW show where he's like talking all gibberish, but it's like probably from the future or something. Anyways. If there are no signs of improvement, disposal may be necessary. I wonder if the person in charge of correction did it properly, but regardless, I don't want to be bothered with this any further. Alright, number seven. I have observed a small change in IO7's brain to aka us. Perhaps this is the first step forward. However, we have seen plenty of this in the past. Only a handful of them have made it to the final manifestation. Exceptionally powerful. If that's the case, then the only subject that can be said to be successful was S09. Maybe Alice? I don't know. That was the result of our research. Now, the fruits of our wisdom. If a means of mass production can be discovered, it will change everything everything we think we know about the world now there is no need to consider for what purpose which we'll read in the next one 
I receive a notification that it has been decided to dispose of H-13. The fact that there are no relations likely sped up the decision. This is normal with research subjects. On that point, caring for IL-7 can be a burden, but there shouldn't be a problem where we handle it with care, you know? I went up to the ward to observe IL-7, but they aren't in their room. Goodness, they're probably off somewhere with the mother. Hmm, who has a mother back then? It was us. It was us. Anyways, uh, H-13 has been killed. They were slated for disposal, but would that be better than being eaten alive? I don't want to even think about that. Now, the hospital is in chaos. I shouldn't be making this recording either, but this is the only way I can preserve my thoughts. I don't want to lose any precious test samples. If they didn't take notice of the alarm, they may not have made it out. Regardless, this place is finished. So, were we part of, like, in maybe potential, like, human experiment? Probably. Alright, where's teleportation? There you go. Alright, this should be another story. Yep. All right. <sighs> there you go. Whew. All right. The forecast reading was a zero percent, but we're attacked by so many at once. It's unbelievable. The OSF who are fighting back are likely those who happen to be here as patients. Now the main force hasn't arrived from Suo yet. Now the entrance to the lab should have been sealed when the alarm went off. I can't go back there. Up ahead, there's an employee. Unintelligible. System message could not recognize voice entry. Saving text and ending voice entry now. So, so who's fighting? Like Nagi and all that, or what? That seems to be the only explanation I'm getting from that. All right. Am I missing anything else from this? No. All right. Let's continue on. What do you want to do? Mm hmm. Are these all dead corpses? Are these all dead corpses? All right, let's let's just move on. It doesn't look like they're storing data anywhere. I don't even see anything resembling research equipment. I think the facility is underground, but there weren't any stairs leading down from the first floor. We'll just have to comb the area ourselves. If this is where they conducted his personality rehabilitation, Nagi's data should be here. I wonder if Nagi managed to get away. I had all of you there to rescue me, but he was alone. You're still as kind as ever. Nagi! Oh, my you boy Nagi's here. Back. Of course you did. I mean, we're, we're best, best friends, friends are we? we? <laughs> Looks like Nagi received even more personality rehabilitation. Oh boy. As Nagi was regaining his original personality the last time we saw him? Personality rehabilitation. You traitors against glorious new Himuka are the ones who need rehabilitation, not me. There's no need to worry, Yuito. They specifically told me you need to be alive when I bring you in. Are you serious, Nagi? And you're Stop it, Nagi. I don't want to fight you. Oh, wrong button. Oh god, wrong button. I was like, I thought Let's see. So we're how is my boy level 35 when we're like level 34? S -s logic? Oh god, that's not working fine. Oh my god, that did not work the way I thought it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I messed that one up. All right, I, I, guilty, guilty, guilty. Oh, there you go. You're dead, bro. Get be gone, bro. Everyone together. And Ooh. I sweat it a little. I sweat it, boys. I sweat it. I'm not gonna lie. I sweat it. Too bad for you, I'm not done yet! Yeah. <laughs> Guys! Oh no, they're like destructive discs. You in tow! Oh no. 
during the fight. It's game over if you pass out. And he knows it too. Oh no, this is bad. Well, this is not good. This is not good. A boy went. Why are you crying? I know that was scary. They're all done with the tests now. Honest. Let me see that brave face. Is that her mom? You're okay. It's all over. Mommy. <laughs> So we got captured. A dream about my mom? Why would I have that now? Oh, right. This ceiling. It looks like the hospital room from when I was a kid. The smell, too. So we got captured. Smell. Where am I? <clears throat> huh? I can't use my powers? You can't use your powers here. Those restraints are designed to nullify your abilities. You're such a fool. All you had to do was play the patriotic hero, and you would have had the world on a platter. Who are you? Just a humble staff member of this facility. We've met a number of times when you were a child, but I'm sure you don't remember. We did? Have you forgotten about your time here in the hospital with your mother? Which means this is still somewhere inside the old OSF hospital. Where are my friends? No idea. Your friends are outside my jurisdiction. I'm in charge of duds. You mean people without powers? That's right. I was in charge of the experiments involving you and the Travers brothers. Unlike Karin and Luca, it seems like your psionic hormone levels are dropping. What? Now that I think about it. Your psychokinesis was activated under some unconventional circumstances. Duds have an extremely low chance of manifesting powers in the first place. This could mean there's something special about your cerebrum. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Wait, I'm a dud? Oh, so you're missing your memories from when you were a dud too. This is going to be tricky. It seems your brain is accumulating damage as you use your power. I need to run some tests before I ask you any questions. I'm sure you've experienced episodes of sudden memory loss or having difficulty remembering your childhood. Wait! Please, explain it to me so I can understand. <sighs> it's simple. You were, you were born, born a dud. dud. That's, then that's you rough. Were hospitalized here with that's your rough. mother because this was still the OSF hospital at that time. We know that duds are capable of acquiring potent powers. The country sends all duds to this hospital, where we run medical experiments on them. I'm a dud? I had no powers? In any case, it's time to go back to sleep. <laughs> Damn it! I can't stay awake. Yuito! <laughs> Are you alright? General Fubuki came to rescue us. Major General Fubuki? How? The program he gave us was able to tap into the facility's surveillance camera feed. I knew it would be dangerous infiltrating this place. I made sure I would be available if something happened. Thank you very much. I'm glad you guys are all right. I'm and sorry, Nagi? Major General. We couldn't get Nagi's memory data. Uh, right, Nagi. What happened after that? We killed him. You suddenly collapsed, and Nagi... He took you, and then used you as... As a hostage. Damn, best friends, huh? We were huh? afraid of hurting you, so we couldn't attack him. I'm sorry, that's hilarious, his face. Inside a room, there was... Strange equipment. I think it was for personality rehabilitation. The Major General Fubuki showed up before any of us were rehabilitated, so we're all okay. You don't have to worry about us. Ooh. Sorry. You're always rescuing me. Thanks, guys. Wait. It looks like others are gathering. I've disconnected the alarm, but they should already know Yuito's trying to get away. We have to escape the hospital. 
I've already shared the way out with Wataru. I'll hold them off here. But... Don't forget, I'm a Septentrion. I can handle myself. Take this. Don't lose it. No matter what. Is that like an SSD or? I'll tell you when we get out of here. Now go. You'll only get in my way. Okay. Wow. But I he is a general. I don't safe area near here for teleporting. We have to run. Got it. Please, be careful. Of course. I had no power. I was a dun. I'm more confused than shocked. It's too much to take in. Let's see, um... Former Major General Karin? Yuito, it looks like you've finally become a traitor too. What do you mean? Did the new Himuka government brand Yuito a traitor? Yes. I doubt you'd be allowed inside Suo. <sighs> Come to Seiron. You'll all be accepted as one of them. You're asking us to help Seiron? The same people who are sticking human brains inside others? Meanwhile, New Himuka is conducting experiments to metamorphose humans all in the name of producing a strong power. And at its center is the great city Suo. So they're all horrible at the end. Twisted. They're both crazy. <laughs> then what do you want to do? Run to the religious fanatics in Togetsu? They're a religious state. They'd probably be open to taking in criminals such as yourselves. But Togetsu won't necessarily be a safe place this time around. This time? Just a figure of speech. Yeah. New Himuka won't be able to get us in Togetsu. They're an independent city. It is a little shady, though. Is that why you came here, Karin? To tell us this? <laughs> it was just an afterthought. However, take this if you're going to Togetsu. I can't drink this. I won't. Whether it's human blood or brains, you need to drink it if you want to live. Either way, you'll lose all your memories and powers if you choose to do nothing. That's right. The drugs are simply giving you time, so you have to drink it whether you like it or not. He's up to something. But what is it? Potential final boss. Boos. Should we I be see helping it. him? No, come back to the hideout. Major General Fubuki wanted me to tell you not to worry about him. Besides, I can at least monitor his status from here. Come back so we can make a plan on whether we're helping him or running to Togetsu. All right. Obtain Karen's apple. Or apule. Or however you want to say that. Hey, good job, everyone. Man, this unit's so cozy. Wataru! What are you doing here? Finally, my boy. I had a meeting with Major General Fubuki. I was supposed to escape to the hideout if they found out you guys snuck into the old hospital in Lokusho. I mean, I can navigate you anywhere as long as I have a PC and sign at. Which means that Fubuki predicted Yuito would be branded a traitor. So, he told Wataru to come here, since he is Yuito Platoon's operator. If they're going to make Yuito the bad guy, it makes sense to take out the person who knows what Yuito Platoon is up to. Good thing Wataru got here when he did. Otherwise, they may have subjected him to personality rehabilitation. For reals. Yep, that's basically it. I made sure they didn't know where Does the he have horns? was before I left. This was originally a unit for the Sumeragi family. It'd be bad if Chief Kaito found out we're here. But it seems like we're fine for now. I haven't told my brother that we're using this unit, but we should be careful. We own many others, so I don't think they'd find this place right away. In any case, I can't believe my brother made me into a traitor. I think he was forced to, maybe. Yuito. Trying to look at the positive things. It's really made it clear to me that he sided with the government. Not that I didn't already know that. Anyway, since I'll be staying here from now on, rest assured that nobody will find this hideout. More importantly, do you still have the thing Major General Fubuki gave you? I have it, right here. What is it? It's for Arahabaki, a one-time-use key code generator. Why Harabaki? would something that important to- What is Harabaki? I forgot. Major Seems General important. Fubuki entrusted the key code generator to you because he thought he might not come back alive. 
Have you heard anything from him? I've tracked him leaving the old OSF hospital. He completely disappeared from all systems after that. I hope he hasn't been captured by the government. Fingers crossed. My brothers saved Fabuki. I'm sure of it. We have nothing to worry about. After all, they're friends, right? That Fabuki and me. Karen? I wonder if it's true that former Major General Karin and Luca were both duds. I'll look for him on my end, too. Besides, you guys don't have the luxury of worrying about anyone. They're calling you demons and hypocrites in Suo. Our stocks are limited. If you don't make contact with Togetsu or Seiron soon, we're gonna run out of supplies. How could they do this? They were just hailing him as a hero. It's fine. They shouldn't have been calling me a hero in the first place. True. There's actually something I wanted to tell all of you. It seems that I was born without powers. <laughs> but you have powers. What are you saying? Experiment. You know how I was being treated at the old OSF hospital as a kid? Seems like I was subjected to an experiment that caused me to acquire my power. I think the reason why my powers have been on the fritz lately is because they were artificially engineered. It probably puts a huge strain on my mind. Are you sure you're okay with telling us this? That you used to be a dud? Sure. Oh, is he sensitive about having been a dud? I mean, hiding it doesn't change the truth. And I figured you all deserve to know, considering all the trouble my unstable power caused you. It's no trouble. Really. Aw, oh, she's wife. Yeah. We're waifu. Just worried about you. They're both it's waifus. It's natural for us to worry. But thank you for telling us. I've heard there are many people without powers who live their life suffering in secret. It's sad, but I do believe that is the case. And if something ever happens... You know we have your back. Hmm. Thanks. All right. Homies that we, we can trust in. Bit and figure out what to do next. Uh, the Hara Habaki. The Ara Ara Habaki. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. So we are in the Yui Tales story standby phase number seven. I know I gave you that baby girl, but. This might not come out right. But it's more fun living in the unit than I thought. It's a little inconvenient, though. Yeah, but everyone in our platoon is nice. And I'm always with you. I hope we can keep fighting together. Being with you makes me feel... safe. <gasps> and... Damn, baby girl! You knew I was gonna give you that gift! I, I guess I chose right with my decisions. And we got level 4. So, answer her with YPB and she will appear as a vision and perform a special attack. Hey, you love to see that. Look. That's freaking amazing. And got a golden bucket doll as a present from Hanabi. Ah, she know me best. Why are you anxious? I like that we're childhood friends. So first you're a hero, then you're a trader. You might be fine with that, Yuita, but I'm not. She wants to be more than friends. Do you not see this? Come on, don't be blind, my boy. Get in there and get some of that poo-poo, you know? You gotta get in there, bro. You know? All right, let's go. Let's give you this. Look at her. Smack. Smack that ass, baby. Smack that ass. She's a little, 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 little. Smack that ass. Oof. There you go. She's into the kinky stuff. Anyways. Uh, there's a... Let's go ahead and do our Bond episode with Gemma first. There's a strong possibility that Nagi will attack again in that condition. Bond episode! Hey, Gemma. Are you free right now? Do you want to go somewhere with me again? <sighs> Gemma? Hmm. Sorry. I was just thinking. That am I done? something the matter? I'm here if you need to talk. Yeah, maybe I should talk to someone. One of my friends who retired from the OSF has gone missing. Are there any leads? I first learned about it when I got a message from his younger brother. We hadn't talked in a while. He asked me if I might have any ideas, but I couldn't give him any. I was just wondering what to do now. I can see why you're worried. Is there anything I can do? No, I can't trouble you with this. It's a personal problem. 
But I want to help. Why don't you just tell me what you can? It couldn't hurt. Hmm. Thank you. I'll take you up on that. The friend who went missing was an old classmate, and then we worked together in the same platoon when he was still in the OSF. But as the years went by, the anti-aging medication's effects weakened, and his body began to age. It's something all children of the state have to face eventually, but he reached his limit sooner than me. His powers waned as he aged, and fighting became too difficult. He retired this past spring. I see. Mm. I'm glad he managed to retire safely and not get hurt or die. Gotta, yeah, yeah, he could have gotten into more issues that way. It's a tough situation after retirement. The body ages normally after they stop taking the medication, but the abuse their brains sustained over so long a time is significant. Many retired soldiers deal with various issues, stemming from their body's changes exacerbating their brain's fatigue. It's that tough for them? Can't they treat that with medication? I hear there are many who receive treatment, but it's not easily cured. If it becomes prolonged, it also affects the patient psychologically. Do you think your friend wasn't feeling well after retiring? Yeah, he was tired, physically and mentally. I tried my best to stay in touch after he left. Damn. But after a while, he just kept asking me about the OSF and my missions. It seemed like he wanted to come back. He missed his old job after having trouble adjusting to retirement. I mean, he was with the OSF for decades after all. It's tough to instantly change your life. He never wanted to retire to begin with. Those who can no longer fight will never be able to return to the OSF. <laughs> That's rough. I decided to distance myself from him so he can finally move on from the military and build a new life for himself. I didn't reply to his messages or meet up with him. Looking back now, I was probably too harsh. His brother said it was cold of me to cut off all contact like that. <laughs> I can't blame his brother for saying that. It might be my fault he disappeared. He needed that moral maybe support from you, maybe. He needed me the most. You did it for your friend's sake. You can't blame yourself for that. For now, you should do what you can. Have you tried calling your friend? No, I haven't reached out to him yet. <laughs> then try messaging him. Even if you don't know where he is, it should reach him. If he was your homeboy. Maybe he's just or one of your you friends. Contact him. <sighs> You're right. Waiting here won't get me anywhere. I'll take your advice and do whatever I can. <sighs> There's no reply. He might need time to notice the message. Let's wait a little longer to see if it reaches him. Or it reached him, but he's not planning to reply. <sighs> There's no way for us to know. Back when we were in the OSF together, we could easily brain talk with each other and had GPS to know our location. Yeah, that's not available since he retired. He has to go through the trouble of accessing a terminal. I can't really relate how inconvenient things are after you retire. But he must have been going through a lot. I'm pretty sure he had his own issues to deal with. Why don't you keep messaging him and wait to see what happens for now? I'll see if there's anything else we could do. I'm glad for your help. I'll let you know if I learn anything. Okay. Please do, please do. Poor Gemma. I never really thought about what people do after they retire. Is there anything more I can do? I know. The OSF database could have information on Gemma's friend. <sighs> the data's locked. I guess that's not a surprise. Wataru, you got a sec? Yo, what's up? There's an OSF matter I want you to look into whenever you're free. OSF. So information that can't be found through official channels. My boy's a hacker. Okay, send me the info. I'll look into it. Thanks. Ah, <laughs> what did it be the homie? The lead on Gemma's friend. What did it be the homie, bro? He be the homie. I know it. I feel it in my bones, bro. I feel it. All right. Oh wow, wow! I didn't read up on Luca. Hmm. Sending messages isn't set a f sign if there's no reply. Can we talk so I can get my mind off it? Anything's fine. Reply whenever you see this. Oh, so anything's fine. Okay, that reminds me the, of the lyrics of a popular song. <laughs> oh, wait. Anything's fine. Uh, I don't know it very well, but it's about a reply to a message not coming so they can't sleep. Can't eat. I'm, that, that does ring a bell. 
a song that goes like that. No, I can't sleep, I can't think. No, wait, it's I can't sleep, I can't eat, you know. When are you gonna answer to my DMs? You know? If you haven't answered to my DMs, what the heck are you doing? No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, I remember. It's a love song, sorry. <laughs> oh. Damn, sorry, I wasn't trying to make a joke or anything. Love is about being upset and feeling down, right? I don't understand that feeling at all anymore. I guess it's because I'm getting old. I, I know that love isn't for me. Thanks. I learned something. Damn, Gamma. We might be on the same wavelength for a minute. We, we would've, you know? Yeah? Alright, let's go into the next one. I didn't read up on Watu. I'll give you a little information on both Syrian and Togetsu while you think about where to go next. Togetsu, like Major Car uh, General Karen said, is a religious nation located on Hiona Mountain. Outsiders don't know much about what goes on there. Now, the only thing that's certain is that it's freezing cold. Be ready for that if you plan to go. Syria, on the other hand, is Major General Karen's group's base of operation, meaning they consider him a comrade. Knowing that they are... Knowing that they're researching those ampules and the weaponized others, it's just as fishy as Suo. I don't know if they can be trusted. Now, the city itself is known for being more peaceful than Suo. I don't know how peaceful we can call it since the rebellion, though. That's difficult. We can't fully trust either one. I do not like how much is unknown about Togetsu, but that does mean that there is much to learn. Facts, facts, facts. Now, the advantage in Syrian is that we at least know who we are up against. I will leave the final decision up to you, Yuito. We got good news, Yuito. I finished an update to the program. I'll be at Masubi's. Hey, Yuito, I want to tell you something. Come to Masubi's now. I'm starting. I'm trying to ignore where we stand and just talk to you. You'll listen to me if you know what's good for you. I know I sound like a broken weapon, but I will Don't keep me waiting. I'll keep you waiting. The, you know what? I hate you. Hate is a strong word, but it, it applies in this situation, so screw you.